sent you an alert about this next story with so many stores closed right now and our supplies running low. You may be trying to get a little creative with the supplies you can find to clean your house. Be careful though, that can be dangerous. Channel 11's Liz Kilmer joins us live with a warning from a local hazmat team. And Liz, walk us through the do's and don'ts here. Hey, Catherine, well, cleaning right now is more important than ever. Many of us are really trying to keep our homes clean, maybe even our cars. But you really want to be careful. Emergency officials say with the chemicals that you're mixing, if you combine, for instance, bleach with several other chemicals, it can be pretty toxic. Take a look at your screen right now. This is a warning that was posted on Facebook by the Westmoreland County Hazmat Team advising folks to avoid these dangerous combinations. So bleach and rubbing alcohol, for instance, makes chloroform, which is highly toxic. You also need to avoid bleach with vinegar, bleach with ammonia, bleach with rubbing alcohol, and lastly, avoid mixing hydrogen peroxide and vinegar. Now, according to the CDC, you do want to routinely, regularly clean uh, frequently touched surfaces. So that means tables, doorknobs, faucets, anything that you're regularly touching. And with any products that you use, you want to carefully follow the instructions on the label, uh, which might tell you to wear gloves or to have good ventilation while you're using the product. Now, if you'd like to read those combinations again, you can head to my Twitter feed, my Facebook page, or download the WPXI News app. Back to you.